is my merch, you guys. Hey, angels, welcome back to another YouTube video. Two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. So in today's video, as you guys read by the title or saw by the thumbnail, you guys know, yes, surprise shoddy, I do have merch and I can't wait to show you guys and explain to you guys in today's video. So, yes, first off, you guys see my hair, how beautiful it is? Oh my god, I can't even speak. How pretty it looks. I curled it yesterday, so like right now it just has like the little wave effect, but she's still cute or whatever, but basically... I'm going to talk to you guys about the merch right now. My notes, um, like different, how do you say it? Like different sections I want to talk to you guys in today's video because I know myself will like get off topic and just start talking about stuff that doesn't even need to be involved. Start off by, yes, I do have merch. I'm so excited to share with you guys and actually tell you guys I have merch. I feel like I need gum, but... My eyelashes are hurting. I'm sorry if I like my eyes are like twitching or something. Yay. So I'm going to start off by saying like where, kind of like where I first started. So I've been wanting to do merch since I hit like 100 subscribers. Let me tell you that. I really did. Let me turn this off. It's going to be annoying. I did. Ever since I hit 100 subscribers, I told my Instagram fam and my family members and my friends and everybody I wanted to do merch. And they were like, no, no, no. You should just wait till you get more subscribers and, you know, until you grow more because right now you're barely 100. And I did listen to them. I was like, yeah, you guys are right. Like, who knows? You know, like, you never know what could happen in a couple years or a couple months. I didn't go through with it, right? Then, a couple months later, once I was around 300 subscribers or, yeah, around there, I was like, I'm going to do merch. So I did go ahead and do merch, but it was just like the butterfly theme that you guys saw and everything. But honestly, honestly, this merch has been a roller coaster. Like, I went through so many people, so many options, and so many opportunities that were given to me that I took, declined, and just like, nope. So there was a lot of things that happened, and to be honest, Merch is really stressful. It's really stressful. But one thing I do want to say, I just want to say, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Because since i done it, I just feel like I accomplished it. And I'm just so happy to share with you guys that I finally have merch and it's finally here. It's finally available for you guys to purchase and everything like that. But before we hop into that topic, something really quick. Um... Thank you guys so much for this opportunity. It would not happen if you guys weren't subscribed to me, if you guys didn't support me. If none of you guys like did none of that, this would not happen. Like I would not be bringing out merch. And the best thing is that the meaning. I need to get to that topic right now. But whew, everything is a roller coaster. Everything is a roller coaster. Ever since I started, I'm like, mm, merch. But look at us. We're almost, we're at 451 subscribers. Can you guys believe that? Like, we're almost hitting 500. And you guys know I'm doing something really big for my 500 subscribers. I don't know what it is, but I just have it. Like, I want to do something that's really big. Because I've been telling you guys that I want to do something like that. Um, I know it's going to happen if we put, like, our mind to do it. And, like, I actually do it. But... Ooh, I'm like so excited for that and you guys know that we're hitting three years on YouTube September 2nd but um yeah so now let me just talk to you guys about like the process of all that stuff because I think you guys want to know right you guys want to know so the process wasn't easy it was not easy at all I was going uphill downhill uphill downhill I was crashing a lot of things a lot of things were coming to me like oh no sorry we can't do that we can't do this is this price is this price but literally if I tell you guys that it was all worth it it was all the stressing it was all the I can't do it I can't do it and all that stuff but at the end of the day I was like I just thought in my head in my bed I'm just like you know what, I could do this if I put my mind to it. And I need to come on here and tell you guys that you guys could do anything if you guys put your guys' mind to it. And, like, 
don't bore, don't wait for it to come to you go run and get it you know it's kind of like an opportunity like if it's given if opportunity is given handed is handed to you take it and run with it don't just think about it like oh no i'm okay and then let the opportunity go like there's opportunities that are given in life where we just wish oh I wish I took the opportunity and you just go home or you just think like, damn, why did I not take that opportunity? Why did I not do this for myself? This and this and that. Like you're just talking bad on yourself when you could be talking good about yourself. Like I took this opportunity. I ran with it. Hell no. Like, you know, I'm doing something out of this. So this is why I need to tell you guys that I've learned from my mistakes. I learned not to take an opportunity to take an opportunity because I have good family and good friends. I have like a good, how do you say it, a community, I could say. Is it a community? I don't know. I'm going to call it community because um, I don't want to call it like social. I don't know what it's called. Let me ask Siri. Hey Siri, what does it mean when you have a good group of positive people? I don't know what it's called, but you're basically, you're, you're like surrounded by, with positive people and positive energy, right? Mm. Anyways, I'll call it, I have a good community of, of like good energy and good support, right? So, they were giving me like options and opinions and every left and right I was getting do it I was getting don't do it I was getting go for it like you got this like a lot of things were coming at me and I did not know what to think you know I was like shoot like what if I don't do it like people are gonna be like why don't you do it you know so but honestly I was given a good opportunity because a old friend of mine that we're no longer friends. I don't think we're friends. I don't count them as a friend anymore. Their their family members did something with merch, right? So I was like, that was a good opportunity for me because I did want to do merch, you know. So I was like, oh my god, like I could go with an old family friend that could do it for me for a good price, you know. Went with that. Obviously, I took the opportunity and I went, you know. So I did that, and long story short, it didn't go through. Like, I was left hanging, and I was like, yeah, no, this is not something that, if you're going to give someone an opportunity, you're going to go with them, right? You're not just going to give it to them, and then let them run with it, and then there they are running with it, thinking they're going somewhere, but they're really not. You know what I mean? So I didn't go anywhere with that opportunity, and I was like, alright, whatever. So I continued looking, and I continued... Living life, you know, I was like, alright, merch didn't go through, it's fine. Then I did say in one of my YouTube videos that I'm going to leave you guys here, like, stop talking about merch because I was basically putting you guys down and giving you guys, like, um, the hype of, like, oh, she's bringing out merch, when, what, where, what, like, blah, 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 like all those questions that you guys want to know. I stopped because I was like, I'm letting you guys down and I'm letting myself down thinking that's going to happen. And then something bad happens. Like, with my luck, something always happens. So, I'm just like, yeah, no. I'm not going to do that. So, I stopped um, keeping you guys updated and all that stuff. I left it as that. But I was still doing things on the low. Okay? But I was just like, alright, I'm going to go through this battle by myself. So, I did. And that's when I went on social media break. And then that social media break helped a lot. That was a good six months, I will say. Um, good six months of my life. So worth it. Do it. Watch the YouTube, watch the YouTube video if you haven't, like, um, talking about, like, social media or whatever the heck. Like, I'm back or whatever. It'll be linked in the description if you want to watch that. Um, if you're thinking about doing it, delete social media. If you can, delete it. It will be worth it. Like, you'll grow as a person and, like, okay, just go watch the video. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to do things now. So... When I went on the break, I started looking and looking and looking and looking and I finally found somebody that did it and I was like, okay, but there's a twist behind this. This person I've been having my eyes on since I was almost like, since I wanted to do merch, right? 
but their prices were just too high for me starting and I'm just like yeah no so that's why I took the opportunity of going with the friend's family and that went down here I was like alright then basically so I was on the social media break or whatever and then I found this person and I was like yeah I'm going with you so I gave him my ideas and I love how he worked with me he like gave me um opinions and like you want this you want that how do you want this so like we were like talking back and forth and explaining and i was like okay like i just want to know the pricing and i don't want to know how what like, what what's best for me as a beginner who wants merch so like they're basically giving their feedback and opinions of it you know which i love how people do that and i was like okay i don't want to start it right right now but I do want to start it like, give me like two months, right? Like, oh, that's totally fine. Like, you know, just message me once you're ready. And then we could start getting like everything set up. And I was like, awesome. Thank you. You know, so that made me have high hopes. Like, oh my God, it's happening, which it did. That's why I'm filming this video. So the social media break, I obviously wasn't on social media. I wasn't doing none of that. I was off it and I was doing things. I was grinding and I was doing merch in that time, you guys. So... That's like, I was still filming YouTube videos, trying not to show, tell you guys like, oh, merch is here. Because I think it was like two months in that I was in the, in the break period where I did tell you guys I was going to stop. And then like, after I said I'm going to stop is when I started the new merch. So I know I have like a lot of merches, but this one that I'm going to show you guys and explain to you guys, it just has a beautiful meaning. And I will talk more about that in a little bit. i show you guys like the shirt and everything. As you could tell and as you guys could see, it's better to do things in silent and just show people your results instead of like telling them what you're going to do because you don't know what people's intentions are. I'm not saying like everybody has like intentions to kill your vibe. No, I'm just saying like you never know, you know? You never know what could go wrong. Like I always, I love to tell you guys like what I'm doing, anything new. And then it goes downhill and I just look like, oh, like, don't speak too soon. And I always did. Like, I always thought, like, oh, I'm going to tell you guys so you guys could be, like, excited. Then I finally learned not to do that because then, like, with my luck, everything went downhill. So I was like, no. And then now I'm just like, I wish I vlogged every moment of the way to this day. But I'm like, no. Because, like, I was, like, crying. I was stressful. It was just so much. It was like a freaking roller coaster with loops and twists and drops. I was just like, yeah, no, I'll just show them my results, you know? Like, what I've been doing. Like, and yes, here I am with merch. Woohoo! Yeah, but you guys, it's, it's, I'm like really proud of myself right now because like, no one, I don't think a lot of people knew I was going to bring out merch. A couple people did because I felt like I gave it up, like announcement or something. But it's like, what other thing could a person like me announce, right? Be like, people thought it was a new video. The video that I posted like two days ago, they're like, was this an announcement? I'm like, yeah, I guess if you want to take it like that. But it really wasn't. Like, it was just a basic video. Move on to the next one. So basically, that's like what I want to tell you guys on that part. I want to tell you guys like, I already talked to you guys about the process, right? Yeah. So the process, basically, it took, the process only took like a month and a half. And I got the stuff in like the second month. So, because like, I've been talking to with that, the guy that did my merch. He's amazing, by the way. And I will actually put him on my Instagram if you guys want to check him out. Or check him out right here. Um, let him know that I sent you guys. Make sure you guys say Holy Glow Babe and he'll probably give you guys a discount if he's nice to do that. He's amazing at that stuff though. Not gonna cap. I would recommend him if you guys want to start merch. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but like I said, you get what you're paying for. And let me tell you, it's good damn quality. Like I just look at the shirts, I'm just like, God damn, that's fire. Like that's A1. A1. Yeah, but the process did take a month and a half. And I didn't get the items in till like three weeks. He's from New York, so that's why it's kind of like a far distance. But once I go down to New York, I'm going to stop by his shop and be like, look at my merch. You did this for me, you know? Like, eh. uh, um, 
Yeah, and the good thing about him is that he actually pros he actually records like the products he makes. So he did record when he was doing my shirt, but I'm gonna show you guys in the reveal because I don't want to kill it since right now we're not like revealing it yet. But I'll be putting it like somewhere on the screen so you guys could see it. But now I'm gonna tell you guys about the merch meaning. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the shirts, and before I show you guys, I just want to say that i'm really excited how this came out i came up with the idea myself which it's an idea that kind of relates to me and you guys will you guys will um understand why in a little bit but it's a beautiful meaning to me because i just feel like it touched me and it's just like okay yeah this is Marie. You know what I mean? Go ahead and show you guys right now. I'm just so excited and anxious to show you guys because I want to wear it already. Like, I haven't worn it yet because, like, this video is not out and I don't want, you know? Like, I want to wear it when I could be like, oh yeah, this merch is dropping this day. Anyway, so now I want to, like, the merch reveal. So, this is my merch, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh, I can't. There's just so much detail on the shirt that may, you guys may be like, oh my god, so basic. But the meaning behind it and the meaning to it, it's what makes it all add up into why I chose this design, why I chose this meaning, why I chose this and this and that. Okay. shirt is in the color, like a tan color. And um, I'm going to show you guys from like top to bottom and top to back because it is a front and back side. Yeah. Sis did that. I did that. Anyways, so... The top looks like this. Okay, so basically here is the top. So um, this is how the front looks. The front just has AM right here in black. And that's for Angel Marie. And you guys like, I don't know, I didn't even tell you guys this. But I didn't want it to look like merch. I wanted it to look like, well, I wanted it to look like merch, but not like, oh my god, that's Angel Marie's merch, you know? Which the other designs that I did that I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes, um, those were actually like, oh my god, that's Angel Marie. Like, you know, like you guys could tell. But this, I wanted to make it like unisex where boys and girls could wear it. And, you know, because I don't have, I have both supporting me. So it's like, I don't want something too girly and I don't want something like where guys can wear. So I was like, hmm, let's just make something simple but cute. So this is why I went with this black font and just like AM. So if someone asks you who's that, just say Angel Marie. And I had so much ideas. I wanted to put it right here, we're right here, we're right here. But that's maybe later on merch where I might just switch it up. But right here it just has the AM right here. And um, I am posting Instagram pictures so you guys could go see those. They'll be on my Instagram by the time you guys watch this video. So go like those pictures. Spam the comments. This is my favorite part of the shirt to be honest. But not like my favorite favorite. I think the back's my favorite. But this is my second favorite. So it has um, the meaning is the design is a mushroom. Um, because like I like them. They're cute. And I just feel like they're the aesthetic of me. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I love mushrooms. So I just feel like they're they're like kind of the aesthetic of me. Anyways, so it just has a mushroom right here and it has like the small and then that's it. So that's basically my own tag. So my own tag is a mushroom, which I thought was freaking cool. I was like, I'd rather have my own tag than like, like the t-shirt brand tag. So I was like, hmm, it's better than that. So this is the front. It's just AM. And then it has the mushroom tag with the small right here, like the sizing. This is how it is. And then the color is like a sand color. Now on to the back, but I'm going to tell you guys like the meaning behind it and all that stuff. So basically the meaning behind this is, um, I'm going to show you guys and then explain. Because like if I explain, you guys are going to be like, we already know. So this is the back. Can you guys see? It says, never stop growing with the big mushroom in the middle. Let me put it closer so it looks like that the mushroom and then growing right there it's in the bag it just looks so good but basically the whole meaning behind the the shirt is never stop growing the only reason behind it is story time so I was on my iPad right and I was, was on my iPad and I was like drawing and I was actually on FaceTime with my friend 
and I was like, I want to bring out merch, but I don't know what design to do, you know? And they were like, you like mushrooms, why don't you do something with mushrooms? I'm like, you're right, like, I did want to do something with mushrooms, but I just didn't know what or, you know what I mean? So, so I went on Pinterest, and, um, you know how, like, they have, like, little mushroom designs? So I was like, this mushroom looks cute. So it was just, like, a little mushroom on, like, a plant. I mean, on, like, something like, like this. Like, kind of on a grass. So I'm like, hmm, I might do like that. So I did do the whole drawing. My drawing's ugly. But I did it on my iPad, like a little sketch. And then I'm like, never stop growing. Like, I'm gonna put never stop growing because that's something I like. Like, I don't know if it's just a Scorpio thing or it's just like something, I don't know. I'm not trying to put zodiacs in here. But I'm just saying because me, I love to finish what I started you know and I love to see myself grow as you guys may see and may already know by now that Instagram YouTube I always post my milestones and everything I accomplish because I just feel good of like oh I did that or I did that I did that you know so I was like yes baby never stop growing is something that I feel like will touch you guys and like touches me because I don't like to stop growing. I love growing. I love being successful. I love seeing people succeed in what they love to do. I love to see people grow from where they started. Like what Drake said, I started from the bottom, now we're here, you know? So it's kind of like I grew so much on YouTube and Instagram. Like it freaking, like it's... It's crazy to see myself grow from zero subscribers to almost 500. Like, that's just mind-blowing to think that. I did not even know I'll be here. Like, I keep saying that, but it's like once you do something and you don't know where it's going to end up, you're just like, crap. Like, it ended up, like, it put me here. Like, who would have known me starting a YouTube channel taking this far to finally releasing merch? Like damn like you know that's why i say never stop growing because like you don't know you get what i mean like you gotta do it and just do it like don't stop i tell you guys don't stop if you're doing something that you love to do keep doing it keep doing it no matter what if you get like oh you can't do this you can't do that or like stuff comes at you and like you just sink it in and keep going you know like don't let it get to you and let you put you down into a hole where you can't get out of because and to me like I would take like kind of opinions and feedback from people and I'm just like yeah you're right you know and I put myself into this little bubble that I can't get out versus where now I just put a shield and I just keep going like I don't care what you say I don't like whatever you're saying is not gonna affect me now so that's what I'm saying never stop growing because you never know where you could end up right now so this is why the meaning means a lot to me but I did the design myself like I drew it I sketched it and everything so I brought it to life period and they do cut they do um do these actually so you send them your logo and then whatever and then they just make it better this is my merch it's never stop growing with a mushroom and I just think it's a beautiful meaning because like never stop growing who cares what people say I want to show you guys other merch that I do have that will be going up um, but the quality is kind of bad it is but it is what it is I'm sorry to say that but yeah but the shirts are my favorite though and I don't know the pricing yet I just think you guys have to stay tuned for my Instagram but by the time you guys see this who knows but I'm thinking of putting the shirts for like $35 because I just feel like it's good quality it has its own little tag, and these weren't cheap to make, so, <laughs> you know, you're going to get your profit some way. So, I will probably be putting these up for $35, most likely $35, and this is a size small, and I'll be trying, I won't try them on because I have makeup and everything, but this is my sample shirt, actually. So, I got 25, and one is for me, obviously, and the other 24 are going to be going up for sale, so you guys could go ahead and cop Period. You guys come match with me and represent. Never stop growing, babe. Love you. But, um, yeah, so these will be going up. And I just love the material. Like, it's really, really, really cute. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other merch that I do have that will be going up as well. So the quality of these pop sockets aren't the best. They're really not. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just figure it out. 
but this one has Angel Marie with like me as a character with my pink drink on the bottom. You guys can't really see that, but these are really pixelated. And you guys know when I brought that butterfly merch out, the same girl did these, but she messed up on these. I don't know what she did. I don't know if it was just too much ink to take in in the pop sockets or whatever, but I really did not like how they came out. So I told her to give me a refund. Like, you guys will see it in the video. Like, I was kind of like stressed out at that time that's when these were happening but then when i went on the break is when the actual good merch came out this one's this one and then i have this one that says holy glow babe with me as a brett doll and then i have them in stickers the same thing me with the pink drink i don't know if you guys can see that and then right here is the brett doll one so these are stickers these are waterproof stickers but <clears throat> I will not put these on your hydro because they will peel off. Mine was peeling off even though they do say waterproof. So I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was because I was scrubbing it or whatever. But I would not put these on your hydro. You guys can. But just warn you guys that it might actually like start peeling off. Because mine did. Not right away. It like took like a couple weeks since you do have to wash your hydro. But anyway, so yeah, that's why I haven't put them on yet. But I do have one on my computer and it looks freaking cute on my computer. So yeah, these are like stickers and then these are pop sockets. But these are like the bad quality. These are good quality though. They're really cute too. And they're like good size. Whew, so that's all I wanted to say. So yeah, I might give these out like a, as a freebie. And if you guys want to purchase them, they'll probably be only a dollar. And then the stickers will obviously be $3 though because... They're good quality and they're stickers or $2.50 around there. But yeah, you guys, that's all I wanted to say in today's video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn the bell to get notified every single time I upload a video. I'll see you angels in my next one. Peace. I love you guys. Don't forget to cop and don't forget to go like the Instagram pictures. Bye.